Welcome, Chambra. Aloha. We are here at the Chambra Pavilion at the Villa Amio, here for Art of Benching number two. Number two. Welcome, everybody, from all around the world. Delight to have each and every one of you here. And uh, you know, once again, we're at Villa Amio. We've been here for a little bit, a um, little bit, and uh, totally enjoying our time here, doing some really awesome workshops. Uh, it's nice to be back doing some live workshops with a limited audience, of course. But uh, we're here and here with our wonder dog, Belle. Oh, that um, dear dog. Everybody loves Belle. <laughs> hopefully we'll get a shot of her today. She's roaming around saying hi to everybody here. Uh, we have a great crew here in the studio yes, we helping do. out today. Michelle Dinu, Moisha Groger, Luke Kinman, Jean Tinder at the production desk, and also helping uh, Vanessa Parkins and Jessica. I'm not going to pronounce your last name, but yes, Jessica, you. <laughs> but anyway, and then back in Colorado at the studio, we have Peter Orlando working with Vili Aguirre to um, do the Spanish translation, get that out. So. Quite a team making this all possible, and uh, a delight being with each and every one of you. Uh, we're going to jump into it right away. We've got a lot to cover in this portion. This is where we talk about Chambre news, upcoming events, products, other things like that. And I know we have quite a lineup today, so we'll get into it right away with a look at last month, the Art of Benching number one. Number one. Do you remember? Sure, as much as you do. You're right, not very much then. <laughs> I remember it was called The Art of Benching, and it was number one. <laughs> and there had to be a Marab in there somewhere. But uh, I remember it was pretty good. We're going to take a look and just to remind everybody what we did last month. And, and I do have to say that, gosh, we have such a library of shouts now going back to 1999. Uh, such a library. It's a historic um, collection of our journey. And that's exactly what it is. Yeah. Adamus doesn't necessarily expect us to remember in a mental, brainy way what was said. He expects us to listen. Absorb the light. Yeah, and feel yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Hear it. Yeah. Be with it on a soul master level. Yeah. So I always allow myself that luxury. Well, let's still see the recap and see okay. what we did. Kind of gets us back on track. Uh, we're going to take a look at the Art of Benching okay. number one. Here we go. Now we're here at this beautiful time for Chambra, the time of the art of benching. It, it took a while to get here, but we are here. And now the real, well, I don't even want to call it work, but the real mashing begins. So much has, has come before getting here. Lifetimes of, lifetimes of working on things. And I can say now uh, there's no longer any work necessary. And, and some of you still may be almost addicted to working on your problems, but I'll be encouraging you in my own gentle, charming way to uh, not do that anymore. If there's problems in your life, I don't care what it is, a relationship or health or abundance or anything, self-worth, if there's a problem, simply go beyond it. Uh, don't focus on it. Don't fight it. It's on its way out right now. Let's take a good deep breath with that as we launch into our new series, The Art of Benching. We're going to be talking today about the nature of zero. Feel into zero for a moment. It's a fascinating non-number, but it's associated with mathematics. Zero. And that's where we're going with this Art of Benching, to zero, back to zero. And if you would draw in the center of the page, uh, maybe approximately six inches tall, uh, a zero. And then if you would to the right side, extending out a plus one, plus two, plus three, just going from left to right uh, off the side, like off the east part of the zero, off the left side of the zero, the west side, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, so on and so forth. And then on the north or the top of the zero, uh, a little carrot, uh, a carrot going up, uh, carrot one, two, three, four, five, six going okay. up. 
And then underneath, we care going down one, two, three, four, five, six. And now, Linda, to top it all off, would you put a dot in the middle of that zero? A dot. That's the zero point. That's that's you essentially. And every number on that board that uh, Linda has drawn, uh, every number represents an experience or an aspect or a reality. Ultimately, it all comes back to zero, back to the center, which oddly enough now looks like a circumpunt or the symbol for consciousness. Take a moment to feel into zero again. Not a number. You don't combine it with the others, but it's always that beginning point, uh, what humans often call the zero point. That's where we're at. You've had all these experiences in this lifetime. You've run the gamut of of this linear experience uh, for many, many, many lifetimes, and now we're back at the zero point. What does that mean? You're coming back to your own consciousness after journeying out into this universe and this cosmos of numbers, which really are just experiences. You're coming back to the zero point. That's the park bench. That's that's the park bench. It's the zero point that we come back to. Now you're here to to do the real thing you came here to do. Don't get caught in your old problems. Don't don't get sucked back into that duality. Come back to this park bench, your park bench. Come back to the zero point. I know at times uh, it's it's almost seductive for you to get back into the the old fights and the old battles, but don't come back to the ground zero point right here, your park bench. Take a deep breath and. Instead of battling with the problems or obsessing or worrying or anything else, take a deep breath and be in that light. That's it. Everything that you've considered a problem or a challenge is it dissolves away. There's no more fight. And there's no more suffering. Let's take a deep breath here in our first group park bench experience. This one's for you. You open that door of the light of divinity of consciousness and let it then permeate throughout your entire house and then into your neighborhood and then into every part of you. That is the zero point. That's what the park bench is for. Pretty ah, nice. That's what last month was about. But I, that's funny. It starts at zero. It does, uh, and, and it was lovely. And I found it a little bit sleepy. Um, it was a I was just kind of uh, starting to nod off here. I mean, in a nice way, but fortunately, I woke up so we can continue. Well, that's a good thing. Yeah. Let's talk about recent events. We had uh, oh. a number of recent things going on. The very first one was the Master Code, uh, and that was online oh, uh, October 16th, 17th. Oh, what an amazing event. I mean, we have no photos of the attendees because it was online. It was all online, yeah. But but, th- but uh, we did want to mention that it was truly one of the most talked about online oh, wow. classes ever, ever. Uh, it, we had done a number of Master Code events, live workshops, uh, Norway and a couple here in Kona. And then we filmed it this last summer. We offered it for the first time online uh, in back in the middle of October. And uh, truly, also some of the highest survey ratings ever right. of anything. And you know, you never know. I liked it, but you never know until it's actually um, out there. You know, well, what the reaction is. It was clear that people could really feel into it. Uh, absolutely, really feel into it. So, in the surveys, for instance, uh, Adamas got a 
98.6%. Excellent rating. Whoa. Whoa. I don't think it's ever been that high. That means maybe one person gave him very good instead of excellent. Either that or he filled out all the surveys. Oh. Uh, it's also a 70% good value for the money. Uh, and that, that means a good value. You know, they could have said, you know, it was just right for the money, but right. good value means good deal. Um, 82% life changing. That's huge. And 99.5% said uh, they would definitely recommend it to all other Chambra. So really, re really good ratings uh, from coming from Chambra. And we do pay attention to uh, the surveys that we send out. How was the quality of the webcast and all the rest of the things. But um, it, it fared really well. People talking about it. Uh, love the whole idea that energy is a code. And that's exactly. what we're doing. You can consciously code energy or just subconsciously but it's all a code it's all a song and the good news is we will be offering it in the future we will uh, matter of fact we talk about that in just a little bit no. the next time it's going to be offered then we also had a live workshop masters in communication that was exciting and and i was really curious to see where that would go because adama said that this that was the channeling workshop and that he was it was not, he didn't want to do that anymore. It was time mm -hmm. to move on, to go beyond. And his new workshop was Masters in Communication. And it wasn't anything like the channeling workshop other than it was Adamus. Uh, exactly. And that was about it. Exactly. It was so different. Uh, we had a group of about 18 people here. And of course, we're still under some COVID restrictions, although they are being lifted. We'll talk about that in a moment. But uh, that workshop, between the attendees and the, the content uh, and the experiences was a wow. And I've never, never given it a wow like you see on the screen uh, so, so early after just doing the first one. Well, and a part of it was, again, with the live event, there, you know, things can have different patterns or different ways it goes. But, oh, there's a, we're going to show a picture of the group. Everyone was so individual in their experience, and that, that's ideal when you take a class to know that it's your experience, and that's what this group represented. And initially, the workshop was sold out, but then because of COVID and because of the difficulty non-U.S. people had of getting in, uh, we had to uh, really limit the numbers. And, uh, can but we go back to that slide? Go, yes. Oh, and look who else was there. Yeah, but the only one not facing the camera, Bell. <laughs> uh, but it was, it was a great workshop. I was very impressed by the depth and the intensity in really learning how to be masters in communication. Uh, just the description of uh, what it, communications really is. And, and uh, it, it was fun to do. So, it really was. Uh, anyway, we look forward to doing that one again. We're going to be doing it uh, in the spring again. Okay, I'm excited. Now let's take a look at some of our upcoming events. Oh. We have a little list of things going on. Love that graphic. Whoa! That scary ocean that makes me seasick. Just no, to it's look not at scary. It. It's like we're a bunch of pirates, uh, you know, oh. uh, on this venture okay. and choppy seas, but okay. we're getting through it. Yeah, we have kind of a sea theme this month going okay. on, like cover chamber monthly magazine. Got it. Yeah, Got yeah. It. Okay. So what what are we going to be doing next? Kasama. Kasama, right here, Villa Amio. Um, gosh. Starts in less than a week, I think. Yeah, it starts yeah, at the yeah. end of the week. Yeah, yeah. And then after that, Kasama! Again, so we have two Kasamas this month. Uh, Kasama is the old Energy Works workshop. Adamas changed the name. Uh, we do have spaces available. Uh, initially, both of these were sold out, but again, with cancellations, uh, due to COVID, people were not able to get in from Mainly overseas. Mainly because of travel restrictions. Right. And, and that was sad for us because, like I said, everything is just was just filled up so quickly. Yeah. But again, slowly, as things are lifting, we have been filling up more spaces. But there are still a few open spaces. And, and we're still, oh, Belle had to chime in there. I don't know if you heard her in the background. She's protecting Villa Amio. Yes, she is. Uh, but uh, we do have some spaces available. We are still limiting it based on current right. uh, local regulations on group size and things. Uh, so it's one of the opportunities. If you can make plans at the last minute, come on over, because the group size is still limited. And right. um, Three more for the next event, and then it looks like there's nine, nine spaces for, for the, the one at the event. end. Yeah, yeah. So uh, that's coming up soon. Then after that, uh, you and I we're back in. No, we're still here we're still when here. we do SES online. Right before we leave. Yeah, right before we leave. Literally the day before we leave. 
we'll be hosting it from here. And again, you know how special SES is. Uh, it's the only thing we ever require as a re prerequisite for a live event. Mm -hmm. And it's because of the ability of this workshop to really, really support each of us in energy balance. Absolutely. And uh, it's, like Linda said, it's one of the core classes. Uh, and, and what's interesting is that so often, you know, SES has been around for a while, but so often people are like, I don't need to take it, or I get it energetically or whatever, but we wanted to pull up a few quotes from people uh, that talk about uh, their experience with it. So, Linda, if you wouldn't mind reading these. Okay. It took many years before I found the courage to take SES. Now I'm proud of myself and very happy. And another one. I'm so grateful for this wonderful workshop. It has shown me a way to love myself. I was never able to do that before. And it really does do that. It really I mean, it does. talks ultimately it really about uh, self-love, ultimately. I'm so grateful for this. I had no idea the twist this workshop was going to take. It's brave to teach such a historical taboo topic. I don't know about brave, but crazy maybe, uh, uh, weird. I, Okay, no, there's a bravery to it. Oh, okay. I, I really honor, that means that that's what that individual felt. And that's what, what I honor about all of these is that everybody has their own experience. So, and, and it tends to, you never see life the same once you've had You never SES. see life the same. Never. That should be the slogan for it or something. You never see life the same again. You don't. Yeah. Last, last quote. Excellent. I wish I had done this 10 years ago. That's pretty big. That's pretty big. So uh, we have got just a little uh, video to show also about SES. Remember, that's coming up December 3 through 5. Uh, we host it live right here from Kona. We'll be and with you. We go through all the videos, the Tobias and the Adamas videos. Uh, it's usually a group of hundreds from around the world. We join together for uh, some real transformation. So let's take a look at that um, SES video. I waited more than four years before I felt the urge to take Crimson Circle's Sexual Energy School. I'd heard countless comments about it, and I believe that I already knew what it was about. Now I know. The experience of this class was a big bang for me, unfolding in slow motion. It's not only a workshop, it's really a step-by-step -step initiation, meaning a transformation in which the initiate is reborn into a new role. I had already buried the hope that I would ever understand what is wrong with my sex life, but SES gives a key. How to touch without neediness. It helped me realize that touching as a means to fulfill a need is a symptom of the sexual energy virus. In SES, I learned about touch without agenda, where the only motivation is being inspired by the beauty of who I really am and my wonderful physical body creation. I learned what self-love means in a practical way. SES brings self-love to a physical level because we are humans after all. Through this class, life must change if I follow Tobias' suggestion of regular time with myself. The energy flow in the body changes and abused or ignored parts of the body come alive again. I'd like to lift the secret of this class a bit for others who are hesitating. It provides very practical and sensible coaching into a new life of self-love. It is so beautiful, this new art of caring for myself. Why did I wait so long? I find that so sweet because that, that clip that you just saw with the video, that was a, literally a letter mm. that Ashambra had sent to us after she had taken. Yeah. Literally, that were, those were her exact words of what SES meant to her. Mm. So Sexual Energy School Online coming up December 
three through five. If you've taken it before, uh, you're eligible for the graduate discount, 50% off. And uh, we look forward to seeing so many of you. And I've noticed uh, in the most recent Sexual Energy School onlines that there have been a lot of the new ones that have come to Crimson Circle just right. in the last couple of years. And they feel the draw to take that. So look forward to seeing you there. You All right, coming up in oh, 2022 uh, is... Um, Got to get my slides right here coming up in 2022. That's right around the corner. It's kind of weird to think about. Um, I think it's very interesting, and I'm anxious to For hear. For 2022? To hear Adamus's perspective, because I thought 2020 was extremely weird and over the top. Sure. Didn't think anything could top it, and then 2021 has happened. Yeah. And so, then you think things are going to get a little easier or better in 2022? I'm, uh, you know, I'm open, I'm allowing, but I w would welcome other things. Well, here's my take on it, and this is my prophecy and prediction for 2022. Oh, no. The world will get weirder. And I think <gasps> that's a safe bet. I, I really think that's a safe bet. And we, as Chambra, will get less weird. We'll, we'll, I mean, we'll, we'll settle in. We'll, we'll be more balanced within ourselves, even though the rest of the world is kind of going crazy. We'll just be sitting on our park benches, you know, having a croissant uh, and just chatting and laughing and enjoying and letting the energy come to us. I, that's my prediction. Hmm. So it's in that the midst. Jeff Hoppy's prediction. My prediction. Sure, this is oh, me okay, talking. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Jeff Hoppy. Adamus is in the dressing room right now. He's getting ready. So this is me talking. Anyway, to, ta to start off the year, uh, we have what has become one of my favorite things to do is Pronost 2022. Uh, Pronost is that time of the year where Adamus talks about the, the planetary trends. Now, he normally doesn't talk about what's going on on the planet because it, he's more interested in working with us in our development. But you know, you got to put it in perspective, and Pronos does. It says, well, here's where the world is going. Here's what's going on. It's January 22nd, 2022. Uh, so it's 01222022. Lot. I, I don't know if that makes a difference, but it really sounds cool. And when I asked Adamus, I said, well, normally he has a, a name for it. Remember the one, uh, the dragon enters, and he's got all these little names. And I said, so what's the name for this one? And he said... Pronost, uh, <laughs> Pronost 01222022. So it's kind of all written out, and that's that. It's like a a code, you know, that's that's in there. So that's that's the official name for it. Pronost mm -hmm. 2022. I gotta, we gotta get a new graphic for this. So looking forward to that. It's always um, has surprises, and I know he has a surprise in store for this year for Pronost in January. Uh, let's take a little uh, peek into Pronos. Let's see what Adamus has to say about it a month or two before we do it. Oh. All right. I am that I am, Adamus of Sovereign Domain. When you came into this lifetime, you knew it was going to be a time of change on this planet. You knew you wanted to be here, along with other Chambra, to radiate your consciousness and illuminate potentials. You knew it was going to be an epic turning point for humanity, but nobody knew how it was going to unfold. That's why we've created PRONOST, the annual forecast for the planet and humanity. The planet sits at the crossroads of unprecedented changes. The human mind and biology are long overdue for an update it's the time for birthing a new human species. Nearly every system on the planet is in the midst of change from finance to manufacturing, medical and technical, political and religious. Even the environment is experiencing changes with the departure of Gaia as the gatekeeper, so humans can take full responsibility for nature. Higher levels of consciousness on the planet have allowed for extraordinary advancements in technology, and this new technology is changing nearly every aspect of human life at quantum speed. As I said years ago, everything goes new, and that's exactly what's happening. 
In Pronost, we explore the trends and directions of the planet for the next 25 to 30 years. It's essential information for any master choosing to stay here in order to understand not only what's happening, but also why it's happening. Join me for the new edition of Pronost on January 22nd, 2022 for the latest planetary update. It will open your eyes, your mind, and your consciousness to learn where the planet is headed in the years to come. I was hoping he'd say something calming. No, it was very calming. The planet is going through extraordinary changes. Everything is shifting and going new, and don't expect that, you know, it's going to be a cakewalk. I mean, that was kind of reassuring, wasn't it? Yeah. What, yeah. what would you like to have said, like, uh, um, Santa Claus shows up early or uh, something like that? <laughs> okay. Uh, no pronost. So check into pronost. It will be on January 22nd, 2022. Pronos know what's up ahead. His perspective is always um, different and fairly accurate, actually. Uh, I actually wrote a little bit about it in my article this month in the magazine, and basically said that uh, you know what what he was talking about five years ago or six years ago. I kind of cringe when it was coming out of my mouth. Like this stuff is really weird. And as I mentioned in the article, now you're seeing it on mainstream TV. You know, you know, mainstream news, it's true. the things that are happening, and it really is happening. And you know, you don't have to be into technology or anything like that uh, to to really grasp it and, and desires. Uh, you know, this information. It's more. It's more about uh, sociology than it actually is about technology. It's more about our cultural and social right. changes that are taking right. place. A lot of it is uh, really uh, kind of moved through by technology but the planet is changing you you can't you can't deny that at unprecedented rates it's true yeah it's true all right Whew. next uh, i think the following weekend you know we'll take Whoa. it easy with aspectology this is heavy <laughs> it is really heavy it's a heavy schedule so we have aspectology coming up that following weekend aspectology is another one of what we consider the real core true. crimson circle classes and, you know, this goes all the way back to Tobias, like SCS. Of course, Adamus has his additions in He did his update on it, yeah. Yes, he did. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it really, once again, it really <coughs> offers you an opportunity to look at yourself and see yourself in parts and ways that, that you would normally just take for granted. Right. And once you have this information, you find that you there are many ways to utilize all that you are. Absolutely. Uh, and this uh, is a three-day class. Linda and I are there live hosting it. We're with you the whole time. We go through all the uh, discussions between uh, playing the videos. Right. But uh, truly, if you really want to understand how uh, how creator works and how right. you as a creator work, how we create aspects, and most of the aspects are really good. They they there's an aspect that knows how to run the slides here once in a while. And, but then there's these badass, badass aspects, uh, the dark ones that can really make your life difficult. So uh, tune in again for Aspectology. It's one of the core Crimson Circle classes. And then, then coming up this winter, we're going to be back here in Kona. I'm okay with that. Okay. We have the, Sham the Kasama reunion. Uh, this is only for those who have already taken Energy right. Works or Kasama. We're right. doing that in mid-February, Valentine's Day. Right. Sweet. Right. right. And then we're going to be doing another Masters in Communications right back here in Kona. That's March 21st through the 25th. We have about 23 spaces open. And I think everybody's a little timid, has been timid about traveling. But the governor of Hawaii just reinvited the tourists back, you know, uh, back about, I think this was about four or five months ago, he said, stay away. But the, it's very quite safe here. I think 70% of the, the population on the islands have been vaccinated. They've uh, controlled the, the COVID thing now. And they were always wor worried about hospitalizations right. uh, because the hospitals here aren't that great. But uh, it's really opening up back again. We're seeing already the tourists are now starting to come back. Mm -hmm. Much easier to fly in now from Canada, from um, 
uh, Japan and other places. So uh, do check it out. Well, and you know, again, here the, it's an open environment. It's it's beautiful. It's yeah. relaxing. It's coming to Hawaii is like giving yourself a break. Absolutely. Uh, then April 10th through the 14th, we're going to be doing something we haven't done yet oh, called boy. time traveling with Adamas. Put your watches on or maybe take them off because I think we're going to be going out there. Have no idea what it's like, but I do know there's only four spaces left. People oh, jumped wow, on that wow. one. Uh, it sounds intriguing and uh, right. it's a new workshop. Uh, then back at the end of April, we're going to be doing masters in communication again. I'm really excited because this last one we had was just so good. Wow. I mean, it was, Truly. it explained things to me that concepts uh, about energy and communications that I just wasn't grasping or hadn't even considered before. Well, well for me, the difference was, you know, it, instead of going, it's about yourself mm -hmm. and, and your real, your real abilities to communicate yourself. Absolutely. And uh, a lot of audience interaction with Damas. They're, they're very, very interactive. Uh, so those are coming up. And then after that, uh, before the end of the spring season, we have one more time traveling with Adamas, May, 14, May 10th through the 14th. Right. And a lot of spaces open on that. That'd be a great time to get away from the cold winter weather, come here to where it's uh, beautiful and tropical, and you get to see Belle also. Well, and some we, we added some events too because we were wanting to be sure that everything was on track for things to go well, and it truly is on track. Absolutely. Then uh, we are going to be doing another Master Code online April, I believe it's 16th through the 17th. 17th correct. Uh, another one. Uh, this one worked out so well. We said, let's put another one on the schedule. Uh, it, it'll be live hosted by Linda and I, of course. Uh, you have e-readers uh, for the channels will be available at the time of the webcast, and a lot of the international translations will be done by then. Right, so, right. Because it's plenty of time from now. So put that on your possible calendar, April 16th through 17th, Master Code Online. Online. Okay. How about a deep breath? We're going to go into Chambra News right now. Okay. Chambra News. Okay, we've got a, got a lot going on. The new magazine just came out. Uh, a few days ago, and uh, great articles, all the listings of the products and information, um, everything you need to know is in the magazine. We don't like sending out a lot of emails. We just put it in a once-a-month magazine, and I'm always proud of it. It's beautiful looking. It's uh, Gene and Mark worked their brains out getting it all together before. We call it Hell Week because uh, we have the magazine coming out. We're getting ready for the shout. We're trying to finish up on productions, but. It always turns out so well. I mean, beautiful. It's yeah. all synchronicity. Yeah. It's perfect. Anyway, so that's coming up. And uh, another new thing, uh, we have you know, we have a lot of cloud classes now, online classes. Uh, some of them you had like 14 or 15 days access to. Some you had 90. Uh, we've gone across the board, standardized it. It'll be 90 days on all cloud classes online. And uh, uh, Linda and I will, uh, I'm sorry, um, I lost my train of thought, uh, 90 days access, and that includes things like the sexual energy school, aspectology, threshold. Uh, it was a little confusing. Uh, we, you know, I know why we did things in the beginning and why we changed some of it, and we finally realized, let's just standardize everything. You had 90 days to view the files, uh, have the e-readers and everything else, so I think that was a really good move. And also recently, uh, the new album, the new CD from, do you call it an album these days or a CD? Because CDs, I, you know, were the discs that I just don't use them anymore. You don't I think, know. I think I would call it an album. Album, okay. Uh, the new album from Estes Tone is out with uh, our dear friend Tobias. It's called um, Time of the, well, it's Time of the Sixth Sun. Uh, and uh, that sacred... Transmission, sacred transmissions. Uh, Estes is a, is a very gifted. popular, gifted, very gifted, and, and very uh, cool guy to be around. Uh, he he put this all together because he loved the Tobias message so much. He has a worldwide reputation. He's so well known, and it was so sweet when he talked to us about doing this this album that which featured Tobias Tobias materials yeah. in it. So it's available now as a download. You can go to estestone.com 
Uh, you see down the screen there the proper spelling for it. And uh, just so you all know, uh, any proceeds that come in from the album sales, Crimson Circle, donated back to uh, amazing Nikki uh, Williams and the Time of the Sixth Sun. Uh, what a what an amazing production she put together, really kind of out of her own pocket. Took her, I don't know how many, 10, 12 years to put it together, but it's a beautiful film amazing and it project. features the voiceover uh, with Tobias. Nice. Okay, what's up next? <gasps> Spotlight. Spotlight. What's in the spotlight now? Uh, what's in the spotlight is the new uh, crystal consciousness. No, it's not new. It's an older crystal consciousness, <laughs> but it was so good. It, it was from one of our uh, trips in uh, Europe. We were in Switzerland at the time, and uh, that, that workshop was so good that we actually put it out as a recording uh, called Crystal Consciousness. And there's six sessions in it, uh, so it's fairly lengthy, a lot of great information about the light body and the light mind, you know, and this was done, what, eight years ago. So, uh, you know, even yeah. back then, Tobi or Adamus was talking about it and kind of prepping us for it. And there's a lot of really good basic information in it. And uh, also talks a lot about how to, how to live like a master, act like a master. You, you just do it. You, and it's all tied into that book, uh, Act of Consciousness. Right. So... Uh, it's really, really good. It's downloadable. You will hear the German translation, the simultaneous translation, uh, kind of in the background. That was Wolfing von Rohr doing the translations live. Uh, the whole package, only $60. Ooh, talk about value. Uh, we're going to take a little listen to that right now to the spotlight recap. This is Crystal Consciousness with the Damas. The light body is much, much more energy efficient than the physical body. Even the way you eat uh, and consume food is going to change. The mentality of the physical body is that it eats food, it stores what it doesn't need immediately. The light body will be able to eat food, but literally to expel it energetically out of the body so it doesn't have to go through the the bowels or other elimination systems, it will be able to expel that excess energy immediately. Your crystalline light body actually won't have to eat, but part of the humanness of you still will want to. To take a good deep breath, because this crystalline light body that is really, truly you has been in the making this entire lifetime. Take a deep breath because that crystalline light body is truly ready to be in your physical body. The crystalline light body does not age like the physical body. As a matter of fact, it can go to work for you right away, rejuvenating your skin, rejuvenating all the tissues in your body, rejuvenating at a very deep inner level. To take a good deep breath and allow that crystalline light body to start associating with or integrating with your physical biology. And please don't think your way into this, just allow it. Don't question whether it's happening, just know that it's happening. I hope you can feel the beauty mm. of that. There's a lot of profound things that, that were in there. Uh, and again, that was eight years ago. Uh, and again, it is audio only. You know, we showed a, a video with some scenes uh, in it, but the original recording was audio only. And there is the consecutive German translation. So if you want to learn German, great place to do it. <laughs> so, all right, what else? What else? We, you know, Adamus is now on social oh media. Oh boy! Well, Crimson Circle has been on social media for quite some time, but uh, we we felt it was time to put Adamus out. We have so many new young ones coming in, and 
Now, I'm not a big social media type of person, um, and I know you spend a little time on Facebook. Not so much. Not so much, but, you know, I, I, I don't know where that line of delineation is in your age bracket. If you're over, what, you don't know, go there. Uh, 45 don't or go there. 50, you know, we didn't grow up on social media, uh, and, and, you know, I still send letters in the mail. <laughs> Well, and again, there are new people coming on board, and it was sweet because we had a couple of Strombers say, it's time to focus on Adamus. He mm. in himself is an attractive character, an attractive of entity that you might be surprised if you'd let him be out there on social media that new people will see him. And it's proving to be true. Yeah. Uh, now, I haven't checked in with Adamus to see if he likes it or not. Uh, I guess it kind of doesn't matter. Why would matter. he not like it? I don't know if he likes that energy river, so to speak. I, I don't know, but he probably does like it. I think uh, so. They tend to like his here reverence and his, yeah. his style, and I, I would think that would be pretty cool. Well, and again, we've been doing social media for a while uh, as Crimson Circle and putting things out there. And actually, the Crimson Circle f uh, Facebook page, uh, it's uh, kind of the community page, I really love. I mean, that it's gotten to be such good dialoguing in there. We, we have some restrictions that have really helped it. Uh, you can't just throw memes or graphics or photos without an explanation, you know, because it's too easy for people to do and then they throw everything up there. Uh, we require an explanation, 25 words or more, and it's really worked well. And some people were screaming about us controlling. It's like, oh, okay. You know, if you want to participate in a, what I call a mature, discussion with other Chambra, and, and we don't allow bashing or anything like that, but we have very few problems these days. I mean, that site is, I, I enjoy the, the wisdom, I enjoy the wisdom and the humor you in there. You can go be naughty somewhere else. But that's right. <laughs> and, uh, but anyway, then when it was time to bring Adamus into social media, we actually called on uh, Nazar Fadunkov from uh, Ukraine. He has such a great understanding and very, very talented uh, well, in the graphic side. And so many people know him from from Facebook. He's on there all. You know, he, he's on there a lot, and he's always one of the strongest commenters. He's young, and he's young, and it made sense to to open it up. So uh, we've got a little clip. This is Nazar doing the uh, the narration or the talking, explaining a little bit about how we're putting Adamas on social media. So okay. let's take a look. Wisdom of Adamus, our Chambra wisdom, the Crimson Circle's vast library is now available in the form of daily quotes, which serves both long-term Chambra and a new wave that's coming in. It takes on the form of a beautiful daily reminder that effortlessly appears in your favorite social media feed timeline without you having to do anything proactively. It might be just the right thing you needed to hear that day. An inspiration, a nudge, a hug, an insight, a kick in the ass, conveniently delivered by your own energy. It just comes to you. Also, a distilled and succinct quote is easy to share with your peers, friends, and followers on social media without the need to read or watch a lengthy message. These quotes and excerpts are organized by narrative, topics, series. Like here on Instagram, it is under the Guides tab. And as you can see, we have multiple different guides playlists that you can choose from, the topic you're interested in. So now you don't really have to leave your favorite social media. And Adamus is also on TikTok, because he's very contemporary, right? And of course, we have Twitter and YouTube, and Pinterest and everything else. So there is no more hiding online 
Adamus is literally everywhere now. And for the new ones, it's like a wisdom beacon that stands in the middle of mass consciousness social media and radiates its light calmly, non-intrusively, yet confidently and regularly, with great passion and reassurance that all is well in all of creation. It is like the call of Gabriel's trumpet that will attract the new ones, those who are internally ready to become true and move from awakening to their own mastery and realization. You are welcome to follow Adamas on your favorite social media. Simply search for Adamas Saint Germain and subscribe for a daily wisdom package. Join Adamas online tonight. Wow. Yeah, there he is. Uh, <laughs> so, and again, if, if you're interested, just search on any of those social media sites. Uh, I like the way. Nazar said it, Adama Saint Germain. Yeah. Uh, the way Adamas of, wants instead to Instead of Ad Adama Saint Germain. <laughs> and, uh, but uh, do search on it. And uh, y we're not using this at all for selling anything. No, it's no, just no. to get some quotes out there, get awareness. And, you know, we've had a lot of uh, talks and a lot of discussion with Shamber over the years. How did you find Crimson Circle? Because mm -hmm. we really don't advertise. Uh, we don't uh, outreach. We we don't get um, Shamber to get on bicycles and go ride around neighborhoods knocking Jeffrey. on doors. What? Well, we don't. Uh, they don't hand out leaflets at the in the downtown uh, area. So uh, we we often talk about you know how how do we though how can we be there for somebody like like is wake up in the middle of the night and. They're going through all sorts of stuff in their life, and uh, you know we all know what that's like, that dark night of the soul, the thing that comes after awakening, and they type in something like um, a spiritual crisis, or uh, do I really want to stay on the planet, or uh, any one of those things. So this is designed to be out there really for those people who are looking for answers uh, and, and show them that there's uh, some options that are available. Well, and, you know, it's been pointed out to us that the newer wave has a little more of attraction to uh, Adamus's style, his yeah. irreverence, that, that, that they actually find that refreshing. And uh, so... That's that very true. I mean, uh, when I remember when Tobias left, Adamus came in. Uh, a lot of the Chambre at the time uh, weren't so thrilled about the new style, uh, to put it lightly. And, you know, but he comes in, uh, it was very animated, uh, provocative, um, deliberate, delibera yeah, deliberate. He thinks he's amusing at times, uh, great messages, but this whole Adama's persona was created by St. Germain and all of us. And with a big touch of Cthulhu in there to really uh, bring it more real, uh, real time. instead of being kind of a, what I would say, pretentious, spiritual, uh, or ceremonial new age or anything like that. This was designed to, you know, he cusses and swears, he drinks coffee, he uh, gives people a hard time. He's real. We have fun. He's real. And I think this has really attracted a lot of the, the new young ones coming in. They like that irreverent and very clear style. Uh, right. And uh, another reason why uh, we're, we're not accepted in the Sedona Journal magazine that's uh yeah that's a who knew uh, that would be a, compliment. a, a claim to fame <laughs> yeah we should put that like at the beginning of the our products and that not accepted by sedona journal which is and a, others and and others but mostly sedona journal <laughs> uh, i have a funny story to tell you about that something that just happened recently but basically um but no, it, it didn't work. They're still not ready to accept it, Thomas. So anyway, uh, that's it. Check out social media. And thank you, Nazar, for putting it together. Your graphics, your style, uh, your, your character are very cool. So uh, it's time now. We're about ready to get ready for a break. But we do want to stop for a moment and to thank all of, all of you who make this possible. The Crimson Circle Angels, such a Amazing, uh, amazing group, group amazing. that do their work quietly to support all the work we're doing here. Uh, they're in the background. They don't need a lot of accolades. And we really want to thank you. Uh, we know your energy and financial support is there. And I want to remind everyone that the Angels became a program. We didn't start it. The Angels themselves did. 
they asked us for a way to make it simple to contribute to what we do energetically and otherwise. And it is never lost on us, the beauty mm. of their energy. I also want to thank all the translators who are so busy, uh, probably, probably around the clock, uh, web hosts, uh, the volunteers who help amazing, with things, amazing. and the amazing Crimson Circle staff. Uh, you make it all possible. You make it look easy, and we know that you work very, very hard. Absolutely. So uh, we're going to take a break right now. We're going to come back at halfway into the next hour for Adamus to see what he has to say and see if he has anything, I don't know, provocative or funny or whatever. And I don't know. We'll, we'll and see. And too. I hope he's not going to get too crazy. Uh, I don't know. We'll, we're gonna, you're about to see. Okay. Okay. So we'll be back in about uh, 37 minutes, I believe it is. Uh, time for a coffee, restroom, little walk in the, in the park or whatever. We'll see you right back here. We're live from Villa Amio in Kona, Hawaii. Thank you.